Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Blair. Today I have another video in my 12 Days of Palettes series and today we're gonna use one, and today we're gonna use, and today we're gonna use one of the palettes I got on Black Friday in the Anastasia Beverly Hills vault collection that they did. So I got the one that had two palettes in it for $49, I believe it was. It has Soft Glam and Modern Renaissance in here. I'm one of the very few people I'm sure that did not own Soft Glam or Modern Renaissance. So when I saw they were doing this bundle, I was so excited even though I really don't need any more palettes, but I feel like two of these for $49 is really really a great deal when one is normally like 42 or 45 so today i was trying to decide which palette i was going to use and i think i'm going to do an individual video for each and today i think i'm going to use the soft glam palette and i just want to play around with this like i said i've never had I didn't own this palette before, so I have never used the Soft Glam palette. So if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing, please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of my 12 Days of Palettes series. Let's go ahead and get started. Anastasia palettes it comes with this little brush I may use that in a minute I'm not sure but I'm first gonna go into the shade Tem tempura tempura and I'm just going to put this all over my lid I did already prime my eyes with my NARS eyeshadow primer I love that this palette has a really good all over eye shade. It's really nice and bright. I just feel like every palette should have a shade like this. Next we're gonna go into Burnt Orange right here. So this is, it's a very warm, it's almost a caramel kind of color. And I'm just gonna put this in my crease. I feel like this is one of the colors in this palette you see people use all the time when they use this palette. It's a really good warm transition shade. This color does have a lot of fallout. But that's okay. Fallout doesn't really bother me. Now I'm going to go into the shade Orange Soda right here and this shade doesn't have as much fallout as the Burnt Orange shade. I'm not sure why. That color kind of helps diffuse the burnt orange just a little because the burnt orange is um, pretty orange or it's not orange it's just a very warm brown so it can look a little orange but this color is kind of diffusing it a little now I'm gonna go into the shade rustic right here it's just a pretty kind of milk chocolate brown and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this right in the crease. I'm not gonna blend it upwards really. I'm just keeping it. Now I'm gonna go back into orange soda right here and we're gonna 
blend a little bit. I could not believe that they were doing this vault for only $49. That just seems really, really like a good deal. Even when you find like an Anastasia palette at um, like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they're still like $29.99. So still, that's getting two for $25 each. You're still getting an even better price than TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I think I want to use this shade. Let's see, Mulberry down here. It's a very dark burgundy. I don't know why, I just really want to use this color. And I'm just going to I'm just adding tiny little bits. That shade's really pretty. Okay, so I'm just adding that color to deepen it up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go back into orange soda again and I'm gonna blend some more. Oh, that's pretty. Blending is always the key to eyeshadow, <laughs> I feel like. You feel like you screwed something up, you put on too much of a color, or something just doesn't look right. A lot of times you can fix it if you just take a really big fluffy brush and use a pretty neutral transitional color. And usually you can fix it. Now I want to put some glitter on my lids and I think, let's see, I think I'm going to take Sultry. Oh, maybe not. That looks, that's a really beautiful color. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going into Sultry right here. Okay, so I'm just going to take my finger. And just going to stamp this lightly towards the outer corner, out where we put that burgundy shade. Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely don't have to use all these different shades. I am just really want to play with this palette since I've never used it. And then I'm going to take the shade Glistening right here. And I'm going to put this on the inner part of my lid. So pretty. And then I'm just basically going to use every color in this palette. I don't know why, I just am in the mood. I'm going to go in with the rose pink right here, and I'm going to put this kind of in between where I put the first shimmer shade and where I put that glistening shade. This reminds me of rose gold. And I'm just going to pat this right in the center. For no reason other than I just want to use all the shades. I'm going to go back with my fluffy brush one more time and just blend. I'm also going to go back into the first shade we used, Tempura, and I'm going to put a little bit of that under my brow bone. So 
and I'm going to take a little and put it in the tear duct or on the tear duct in the tear duct For the bottom lash line, I'm going to go into orange soda again. Actually, going to mix it in with burnt orange too. And just put this under my bottom lash line. This turned out really pretty. I really like this. Love it. I'm going to take some of my Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in Barbarella Brown. I'm just applying a little bit of this on my waterline. I like this pencil for the waterline because it does not move. It doesn't smudge down on your lower lash line or anything. It will stay there. So I love that. And then I'm going to go back into the palette and go into this dark brown right here called Cypress Umber. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of this on my lash line. Lightly flick it out. It's like a soft, just a soft wing, basically. So, so pretty. I was going to add some wing liner, but I actually don't think I need any. That eyeshadow worked really well as a really natural wing, so I really, really love that. Seriously, if you have not tried this, I say this all the time, but please try using eyeshadow as eyeliner. It's so much easier, and it is so, so pretty and soft looking. I'm not sure if you can buy this brush anymore either, but this is awesome. The Real Techniques Accent Brush, it's so tiny. It's just a really small, square-shaped little brush, but it's the perfect size to do this with your eyeshadow. I love it so, so much. I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my Surratt Eyelash Curler, like always. And for mascara, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Smoky Mascara. I've been loving this mascara lately. It is so nice and lengthening. It's not clumpy. It's really, really nice if you're looking for a new mascara. She wants to be in the video. You've probably heard her in a lot of my videos too. She, come here. Uh oh. Yeah, she, um, you've probably heard her collar jingling. Now Cosmo's down here too. Okay, I'm trying to film. <laughs> I'm trying to finish this video. <laughs> if you guys want to be in this. Okay. Okay, what part of I'm trying to film a video don't you understand? Okay, get down. Get down. No. Okay.
kids. Kids, stop fighting. <laughs> okay, after a 10 minute break trying to corral my animals, this is, now I'm gonna use this Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Contouring Pencil in the shade Spice. And then last for lips, this has been my favorite brighter lip color lately. This is the Tarte. I think these are the Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks, and this one is in the shade Surf's Up. Yeah. Last, I'm just going to put on a little... Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. And that's it. That's it for this video. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you like seeing my animals making an appearance as well. I love how this look turned out. I'm very much impressed with the Soft Glam palette. I am planning to do tomorrow's video on the Modern Renaissance palette. But I really love how this turned out. I think this palette, the colors work really well together. And I think it turned out really, really nice. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of my 12 Days of Palettes series. I will be back tomorrow with a new palette. It will most likely be the Modern Renaissance palette. I will see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. It means so much to me. I will see you guys next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.